It's 8 p.m. Creed. Let's get it. Mark and Wheel. Yeah, yeah. Mark and Wheel. Yeah, yeah. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own it, go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Monday through Friday, player. Watch it while you own it, go. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. It's the Mark and Wheel Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They're gonna tell you what they know. Some spicy stuff. Ooh, ooh. Mr. Brian is suing the NFL, Dolphins, Broncos, and the Jazz for racism, text messages, all type of crazy stuff. I don't, I, I don't even know where to start with this one. Dude, <laughs> dude said, "Hey, I just want to go ahead and, and, and just bring a light on it and all this kind of stuff because he knows that pretty much he's finished coaching in the NFL." Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So he's yeah. been on every uh, show and everything else like that. Uh, what killed me is two things that stood out to me, brother, before we go to the next thing and we want to hit on this. Uh, when they are per offering the Dolphins, yeah. incentives, $100,000 for each game he lose. So to they lose. go ahead and, and, and – uh, uh, um, uh, uh, get a higher draft pick. Yep. Who yep. does? That? Who does that? Right. Like, like, what is going on with that? Like, and then the dude, the the owner, he basically, uh, when he was talking to him about that, he was going ahead and uh, he he uh, started a, a a betting service or something. So like, like. Oh, You're done. On. You're done. Like I don't. I mean, is, is he still the owner? Because he's gone. He is gone. Yeah. If, if dude got test messages, he got all kinds of stuff like that. He got all types of stuff. It's over. With. And then now you see that Hugh Jackson stepped up and said, "Well, yeah, uh, the Browns did me the same way." <laughs> right. <laughs> it's it is it's it's nuts. That is nuts to try to give this man's money to lose games. I mean. As a man, your pride. What you don't want? You don't want to lose. I mean, are you serious? Dude, let me tell you, it's two things. It's, two, it's one big thing, and I'm gonna say this because right now, until I see a white head coach come out and say that it happened to them, so now you got two black coaches, right? Yep. Who took the job because they know they can't get no job nowhere else, right? Nowhere else, right? And you basically is trying to say lose games. And you know, as a, a, a African American coach, that you're going to probably have to do that. Or a minority coach, I say minority coach, that you got to do that because you don't get opportunities. So I got the strong hold on you. No, yep. no, bro. No, no, no. He's gone. And Billichek spilling the bag on the wrong Brian. Exactly. How do you do that? How do you know? How are you in the mix? Like he's in the circle. He knows everything that's going on. <laughs> Cross gave that person's gonna get hey, that job. He's gonna get that job. Cross gave him a list anyway. Like her. This right. is the next hires of it. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Right. That shit. And it's crazy because I saw something before we get off this. I saw something interesting today that kind of it was kind of like, dang, I didn't even look at it like that, but it's kind of crazy. Do you remember? Hell, I think his name is Josh McDaniels, mm -hmm. the uh, the offensive coordinator. Yes, sir. In New England. That 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 took the job and then and had people quit to join him and then all of a sudden he didn't take the job. Okay. And then he backed out. Yeah. And went back and had his still had his job. Yeah. And it's crazy how African American has no choice but to take the job. Yeah. Because he might not ever get that opportunity again. I mean that's nuts. I mean it's 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 the world we live in and it's just ridiculous and it needs to change. Well, that's that's the point I made. I'm saying that, like, if an owner comes to you and say, Mark, tank these games, here's 100000 Yeah. You don't want to know white coach like it. Right. 
Right. That type of shit. And so my thing is, is that hey, I salute like you. Do you know how hard that was for him to to do that to do this? People think ah, oh, he's about to no 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 no. He knows he's finished. Yeah, he's, he's done. done. He's done. He, he slept that. probably next to his wife, girlfriend, whatever, and he had to go through this in his mind. Actually, after Miami fired him, which he had another winning record, which is crazy. Exactly. Like, come on, man. That's that's their first back to back winning season in years. So right. he went through his mind. You know, I'm like, dude, people don't understand the pressure with that. That's so crazy. But I'm gonna tell you what, Marcus Spurs, former Dallas. Yep, yep. Cowboys. He had a, he had a home run. He said, dude, y'all talking about uh the uh, uh the Dolphins, y'all talking about the teams. No, it's the owners. It's the owners. Yep. To the owners and 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 everybody talk about it. Goodell. It ain't Goodell. Goodell works for the owners. So like, he's their bitch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's gonna take it. He take what he is. So he's gonna yep. basically take the shield and, and smack, get smacked around, and everything else. And that's what's yep. going down. And uh, you know, I I'm proud of him, Brian, because he basically sacrificed his career in the NFL. I'm just gonna say that it's over with. Um, right, it, it, it's Kaepernick too. Yep. <laughs> For him. Yep. Yep. Um, you know he exposed that, and now Hughes like, well, you know, hold on, and it's gonna be some more to step up and come to the table on that one. But um, you know, hey, uh, salute you, man. Salute you, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. This, you know what? I don't care. Like I said, I'm gonna say minority. That's what he is. You know what I'm saying? And um, bad luck on the brand. I mean, every everybody's gearing up for the Super Bowl. Everybody right. can what we're doing for the party, and then you have this mud on you. And you know what's going? I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. They they gonna settle with him, get get him about thirty minutes to shut the hell up. Or yep. Fire it down, and they are gonna move on because big things popping. Big things popping. <laughs> exactly. Don't let the, the train keeps going. I'm the, you know what I'm saying? That's, it, it does. It doesn't. It's sad that it, it's sad that it's like this because it's gonna end up like Cap, like another Kaepernick thing. It like, ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah, he's over. It's gonna go so far, then it's gonna be dead. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right, Brian. Thank you for sharing that. So let's go on and get to the next, the big fish. Hold on, let me. Huh? Show. Catch them at 8 p.m. They gon' tell you what they know. 